Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Mod 6 Gaming YouTube channel where we talk about how to get better at Call of Duty Mobile. Now in this video, this is the first in a series where we talk about the three basic principles that you need to understand to start your journey to becoming a legendary player at this game. So these three basic principles are map awareness, movement, and gunfighting. I'm gonna show some gameplay, talk about the details, help you understand these three principles, and then we'll build on that in later videos. Oh! We're gonna do it! We did it! <laughs> Started from behind. Started from behind. And the first of the principles that we're gonna get into on getting better at Call of Duty Mobile is map awareness. Now what does map awareness cover? It's where you are on the map, also understanding where everything else is on the map. So knowing where the objectives are, knowing where the friendly players are on your team, knowing where the enemy players are. That covers understanding spawn points, the rotation of hard points, things of that nature so that you can understand where to be in order to meet the objective of the game and get those kills, win those gunfights, get your score streaks, and have as much fun as possible playing Call of Duty. Map awareness is knowing where your team and the enemy team is in relation to map objectives. Use your mini-map like a compass. The things on the edge of your mini-map, the mini-map is gonna show you what general direction they are in relation to where you're facing. Icons within your mini-map, those that aren't on the very edge, are very close to you, and so you can use that to quickly respond. If you see a red dot, you can turn around very quickly and kind of have an idea of where you, that enemy player is gonna be. Get used to constantly monitoring your mini-map as you run throughout the game, and if you have trouble paying attention to it, experiment with its size, opacity, and location within your settings, the heads-up display, and I'll come out with a video later that details my heads up display and how I constantly experiment with that and adjust to try and maximize my awareness and use of the mini map. Play as often as your life supports responsibly. And if your goal is to climb the ladder to legendary and, and do well in tournaments, play those game modes and play on those maps. I read a book uh, that really influenced the way I look at gaining skill and studying. Malcolm Gladwell wrote it, it's called Outliers. And in that book, he details the process many people use and pursued to become world-class at their chosen endeavor. A constant theme was 10,000 hours spent performing the skill, playing the game, training the task, whatever it was. You know, if we kind of scale that down and apply that logic here appropriately with detailed practice where you pay attention, you'll learn the hard point rotations and the routes that people typically take on each map and to each objective. Pay attention to your spawn points and how each spawn point changes depending on the game mode and where the players are on the map. Have you ever noticed in a domination game that when your team pushes towards the last remaining enemy point that they start to spawn behind you? If you study, you know, pay attention when you play and Google the hard point rotations, look up the maps and the main routes. You'll be able to apply that knowledge along with your use of the mini map to become just like those pros you see on YouTube and Twitch who seem to always know where the next opposing team player will be. The second basic principle that will help you get better at Call of Duty Mobile is movement. Now that covers moving across the map efficiently so you can achieve game objectives and get to where you wanna go where the action is, but also your individual movement, how you run indoors, how you cross open areas, how you move through rooms, onto the second floor, out of windows, and everything that you need to know so that you're less likely to get shot by enemy players and more likely to be in the position so that you can win those gunfights. Movement in Call of Duty is broken down into three areas. First, how you move across the map towards objectives or the enemy team. Second, how you tactically navigate obstacles, doorways, stairways, windows, etc. And third, how you move to increase success in gunfights, which we'll cover in the last section. 
Moving across the map continues directly from map awareness by studying and knowing the main routes of travel on each map in relation to objectives, you'll know efficient routes to take without just using the mini-map to guess general directions. Add to that some awareness of the spawn point rotations and how those spawn points change with your team's position on the map, and you'll be able to move towards objectives with more safety while intercepting the opposing team. Navigating obstacles efficiently will help you get across the map faster and will also help you be less likely to get killed running into rooms. So practice your parkour, jump into and out of windows, jump over obstacles instead of going around them. Movement like this is much easier for those who play with more than two fingers, but is a major advantage in the game. Entering through doors by sliding, jumping, or a combination of the two will also make you harder to shoot and give you more time to find opposing players and win the gunfight. Which takes us to movement to increase success in gunfights, and that's the next section. The third principle that's gonna help you get better at Call of Duty Mobile is gunfighting. Now, gunfighting covers everything from aiming down sights and making shots to how you move, whether you're drop shotting, sliding into the shot, sliding immediately after the shot, and then how you're peeking around corners and coming out from behind cover so that you can make the best shot possible while exposing as little of your character to the enemy players as possible lowering the likelihood of you getting shot. So as you get into the gameplay, we're gonna talk about different ways that you can increase the likelihood of making the shots you wanna make and lower the likelihood of getting shot by enemy players so that you can win more gunfights. Winning more gunfights is what you'll find most people focus on in Call of Duty. It's a very important part of getting better, but it's only one part. That being said, let's talk about how to get it done and run up the score streaks. So. You know, winning gunfights comes down to shooting more effectively and getting shot less. It's pretty simple, right? Well, it can be with some timing and understanding of the shooting mechanics in the game and some really dynamic movement. Not all of the guns in the game have the same recoil pattern. You can actually look this up in, the, in Google Images and find commentary on it on YouTube. An example of this is that the RUS doesn't have a recoil that's vertical and just continues upward as you shoot. It does go upward initially, but it actually evens out and has more lateral jump than similar submachine guns. If you know your strengths and weaknesses with controlling oh recoil goodness. and shooting accurately, you can choose a loadout, attachments, and the right gun that'll support that. Getting shot less comes down to how you approach the enemy and how you move in the gunfight. Approaching with cover and then being able to initiate the gunfight's ideal and if you're the first to shoot and you work on your accuracy, you'll get that kill far more often. Being proactive in approaching enemies and, and not waiting for them to come to you is the best choice as well. All of those pros you see on YouTube and Twitch seem to be running around a lot. There's a reason for that. It makes them more unpredictable and harder to kill. Once you have the opposing player in your sights, practice your drop shot where you drop into the prone when you shoot. Work on entering doors and rounding corners where you know enemies will be there with a slide or a jump or a combination of both. By moving dynamically like that, by drop shotting, by entering doors with slides, jumps, or jumps and then a slide, you make yourself less likely to be shot and you can work on your accuracy, choose the right loadout. By choosing those loadouts based on some study of the guns, you know, there are plenty of top five this and top 10 that that are published on YouTube every month. Check them out, look up the guns, decide for yourself. Work on your movement and awareness and you'll get the highlight reel multiplayer rounds you're going for. That about covers it. Those are the three basic principles on how to get better at Call of Duty Mobile. Now in later videos, we're gonna be covering everything from loadouts, score streaks, operator skills, and which weapons to pick. We're also gonna cover everything about how to climb the ladder and get legendary this season. And if you wanna check out the stream, I'm streaming live at least four days a week on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then subscriber game Saturdays on twitch.tv slash mod six. If you subscribe on Twitch, you get the chance to join games with me on Saturday mornings where we play multiplayer, wreck people in a bunch of games from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday. Thanks for watching, mod six out.